welcome to basic science series today we are understanding the fascinating world of bacterial communication with a spotlight on the las which is last quorum sensing system of pseudomonas aeruginosa pseudomonas aeruginosa a versatile bacterium thrives in diverse environments from soil to hospital settings showcasing its adaptability and resilience Known for its opportunistic nature, Pseudomonas aeruginosa poses a significant threat as a leading cause of nosocomial infections. Now first let's understand what exactly is quorum sensing. Well, imagine bacteria as tiny chat boxes, constantly exchanging molecular messages to coordinate their activities. And in case of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, the last quorum sensing system is like their very own way to communicate with other bacterial cells, allowing them to synchronize their behavior based on the population density. Let's break it down. At the heart of the last system, there are two key players, last I and last R. Last I produces a signaling molecule called 3-oxo-C12-HSL, while last R acts as the receptor for this molecule. When the bacterial population reaches a certain density, this molecule binds to last R receptor, triggering a cascade of events. Last I protein synthesizes 3-oxo-C12-HSL, which diffuses through this bacterial membrane as the concentration of this molecule rises, it binds to Lhasa receptor. Further, it changes the conformation of the complex and activating its role as a transcriptional activator. Now let's delve deeper into the consequences of this activation. Lhasa R, now in its active state, bind to specific DNA sequences, influencing the gene expression involved in critical functions such as biofilm formation, motility, and even antibiotic resistance. Fascinating, isn't it? By organizing these genetic responses, Pseudomonas aeruginosa can adapt to its environment and exert its pathogenic ability. All right, this concludes our discussion on the last quorum sensing system of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. We'll be back with more insights into the world of basic sciences. Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you so much for your time and support. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Basic Science Series.